I'm Martin Doyle. I make flutes um, in Liscannor in County Clare in Ireland. We make flutes for people mainly playing traditional music, but we make flutes for people playing Baroque music as well and make head joints for classical flutes. Well, a lot of the work that we do would be for uh, students. You know, when they are learning how to play the flute, they it's very important to have a very to start with a good instrument. You might find for a month or two that I really like the sound of, of one type of, of flute and then I might decide that I like a different tone and I might have play a different flute but I have the opportunity because I have the flutes and I can make them. At the moment I am playing myself I'm playing a, an 18th century flute like it's one I made myself it's a copy of an 18th century flute and I really like the tone of it. Well as time went by the volume came up and the holes in, in the flute got bigger the tone got stronger and, and more equal and the older flutes like some notes were strong and some notes were very weak then there, were, there was a way of playing it that you kept you made the balance up within yourself where in a modern flute like all of if you take the latest you know like a modern bone system flute all of the holes are the same size you know the big and an equal sound comes out of every uh, comes out of every note and I, I think those old instruments are very beautiful I think the sound from them is 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 exceptional the older uh, instruments had a very small sound which grew in, in an atmosphere in the in the in the in the environment where a modern flute like a big sound comes out and kind of almost has a sound inside itself you know what I mean so it's an in your face sound um, if you like I will get a an old flute and I'll this sound is very soft so that would have been from say 17 the, the original of this would be from 1750 you know? and there are different stages of making like say when if you're doing boring and uh, reaming and things this is very physical and you know like maybe fast moving work but when when you come down to here where you put keys you know where you're putting keys on the flutes and things it's very quiet very you know like small work you can spend a lot of time here in the quiet just doing this nice it's a nice feeling you can go walk out of the workshop really slowly at the end of the day you know kind of satisfying and then when you get them to play it's good and then when i mean like there are so many sides to it because when some young person comes in and they pick up a flute and they can make this music on it and you know that they've got something good to work with you know they've got something that they can develop it you know and you know also that they've something that they can give to their grandchildren you know and they're only 10 at the moment <laughs> you know that's kind of a lot to it <laughs>